managing assets across multiple employees can be a nightmare for any business. From keeping track of software licenses to assigning company laptops to new employees, it's easy for things to get lost or mismanaged. Let's discover Snipe IT, a free open source asset management tool that simplifies tracking, assigning and managing all your assets in one place. To start using it, you can use the official cloud version from Snipe IT website, coming at $40 a month, or use the entirely free self-hosted version by following the installation instructions on their documentation. You can also use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy the self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice, while we take care of the installation, updates, maintenance and backups for you. To start using Snipe IT with our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Snipe IT and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, region and service plan based on your needs and then next adjust the last settings choose your level of support i will keep the free included one and once you're ready create service once the installation is finished you receive an email and you can follow the web ui link you still have a few steps to finish the installation process it's very simple next create database tables you should have a success message, next create user. And here you will define the global settings for your business, your company, and also create the admin user. We can create our site name, we'll be using Elestio. You can choose between different languages. The default currency, we'll leave it to USD. One interesting thing is if you're not always using a serial number, you can generate auto incrementing asset tags, then enter your user account information. Once you have filled everything, you can click on save user. You arrive on the dashboard where you can have an overview of your assets, but because it is the first time we didn't set up anything, it's kind of empty. You have guides here to add new asset, license, accessory or consumable which is the path to follow if you were not using a solution before. But for example, if you used any other platform or spreadsheet, you can use the import feature. You select the file and it will do some auto import for you. To make the platform overview more interesting, instead of using an empty instance, we will use the demo one from Snipe IT official website. Click on demo and launch demo now we have a more interesting view of a fully configured instance. On the top, you have this bar with all the different assets and how many you have, and also the number of people in your team. You have this recent activity tab here, where you can see what is happening, but you can have a more detailed version here on the left in the reports menu. Then you have on the right this pie chart to see what is ready to deploy, what is in pending state, what is already deployed, so you can see if you are starting to miss something. Then on the bottom left, you have locations. I guess it's a feature you will only use if you have a multiple sites business, otherwise you would just have one main location. And finally, on the bottom right, you have asset categories, where you can see all the different assets spread into different categories, and a column for each type, for the assets, the consumable, and so on. Let's open laptops. When you think about assets, think about items or hardware that you will provide to your employees. Here, because we are in laptops, mainly what we see are MacBook Pros. And for each line in the table, you can have an asset tag. So this is what is automatically generated if you checked it in the settings. The serial number of the device, the model, what it is, because you can reuse a model and have multiple instances to not configure it every time. And the status. On the demo data, it's very interesting because we have out for diagnostics, out for repair. So these are devices we can't provide to employees while it's still our devices. Then we have ready to deploy deployed, which is a device that we provide to one employee. And all the other ones in ready to deploy are devices that if you onboard a new employee, you can give the MacBook Pro. If we scroll horizontally, we have actions that we can perform. On those ones, we are not able to check out because they are out and not available. This one is for checking when an employee leave or just give back a device. And check out. Let's say we onboard someone new. We click on check out. We choose one of our users in the list the checkout date, so we are doing it right now. 
we have a list of already checked out devices because it's a demo, I guess many people use the checkout on them. And if ever you expect them to return it at some point, you can select a check-in date, add some notes and check out. Now, if we go back to our list of assets, this is here, Betty, and we can see that we have the checkout done. Then you have the same logic, not for assets, but also for license. So the main difference is that instead of having a serial number, you have a product key. And in some cases, you can reuse it. For here, you have a total and the number of available key. And like we did for the laptop, we are able to provide a license to one of our employee very simply. We go to checkout to the desired uh, software, for example, here, Acrobat. Check out. We select the user. We can either assign it to a specific user or to a specific device because we, we often attach a license to a specific hardware. So let's choose asset. We we'll say this is the MacBook that we provided to Betty and check out. And automatically we can see that the total of available keys has decreased. And if we open this one with this product key, we can open the seats section and see who is holding a key. Of course, all the softwares are not the same and some don't provide seats. So when you create a new one, you have the possibility to adjust different settings to match the real scenario of the license you want to provide. And then on top of assets and licenses, we have accessories. The main difference between accessories, which are devices and hardware, so the difference with assets is this time you won't have a serial number because those are devices you won't track individually. Instead, you have a number of accessories you have and the number of checked out device and the minimum quantity before you purchase new ones. The same principle applies for consumable. This time you have a clear overview of the cost of using those consumable and you have the list of everything that you need to buy before you are out of stock. You also have the components ones, but I guess this one it's about uh, really specific components inside the hardware and it's not for all kind of business, mainly it's for IT companies, but maybe you can reuse it to your business. Then we have one very interesting feature, which is named predefined kits. I know in the demo, the data isn't great. So let's create our predefined kit. Let's name it onboarding user kit. We save it and let's edit it. The concept is pretty simple. So when we onboard a new user, in this case, what we want is to provide them all the devices they need. So here it's general, but it could be more precise. And instead of going to assets, license, accessories, and doing them one by one, you can append different assets. So let's say one new developer in our team will need a laptop. We choose one, we, we choose the type of assets. We don't care about the serial number here. We add another one. Let's say we will provide a MacBook, but also a mobile phone. So we choose iPhone 12, we save it. And this is our onboarding kit. Then we can save it. And when we onboard our new team member, we simply click on checkout. We choose the user the checkout date, let's say today, I don't know when we are, let's say the 26th and checkout. And automatically it picked two available devices that match the model name that I choose. It simplifies a lot the process while you still have the detail in assets about what was used in the predefined kits. Then of course, don't forget to invite your team members you have people and you don't only have the information, location and so on, but you also have a clear overview of all the assets that they detain. Let's say you have one team member that is leaving your company. You go to the user. So here it's Marlene. You can see the list of all the assets, but you have this nice feature here on the right print all assigned or email list of all assigned. So it will be easier for them to get all the different things and to give it back to you. Then to make Snipe IT really yours, you can go into the settings and adjust everything to make it match how your business work. 
By default, it's made for IT management company, but you can have different type of assets and it would perfectly work with the way Snipe IT is done. As always, I encourage you to read the documentation to discover other features that I didn't cover in this video. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed discovering Snipe IT with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video, available here.